Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Doom 2 Hell on Earth. And we last be left off, Doom Guy is currently on level 19, the Citadel. And we have five teleporters to choose from. Which ones do we want to go through? This decision is actually a little easier than you'd think, because this ahead of us is actually a miniature version of the Citadel's map. And each of these teleporters corresponds to a location in the Citadel. This will take us to the central courtyard, and each of these to one of the corners. We know that there is a keycard roughly in this direction, so going over to here brings us to all of these pinky demons. We want to thin the amount of them that are here just a little bit. There we go, that should be sufficient, because what we want to do is go over here to the stairs, for there are a lot more pinky demons than you'd first think. You'd get rid of all the demons that were visible, and then you drop down only for about five or six more pinky demons to ambush you from around that corner. They are not attracted by the sound of gunfire, which means you'll be trapped and probably in some trouble. But we're okay over here with the chainsaw and this stairway, because not many avenues of attack are available for the pinky demons. If these were, say, imps, we'd be in a lot more trouble, but if they were imps, they'd be a lot easier to take care of. A rocket or two would deal with all of them. And I think that's pretty much all of them, apart from you! And now that you're gone, we can now focus on getting this keycard. Pressing the switch will allow us to get to this one. We have the blue skull key. One down, two to go! We don't need to get all of them, but I'm going to get all of them, and I'm also going to go over here. Why not? We'll explore over here and find these imps and a few shotgun zombies. There we go. And there you're gone. We'll go up here, grab a little bit of ammunition. Not a whole lot. There is one clip over here. And there's over here that reveals one of the places where those imps were. There are just a few pieces of armor that we can use, and a box of shotgun shells. The shotgun shells are certainly useful, because here are two pinky demons that are going to try and get us. And now they're gone. If you didn't have a chain gun, though, that's a good place to find one. Let's go over here now and deal with these imps that are here. There's another way we can go to get to one of the uh, skull keys, and I believe that is over here. This reveals a supercharge, and you think, Easy enough to get? Wrong! It teleports you over here! And there are imps over to our left that are hitting us as well. That's not so good, but we can afford to lose a little bit of health. If getting a keycard is what we can get for it, that's okay. There are pinky demons down there, don't need to worry about them. For we're now over here, and we can grab this red skull key. I believe we have every single key that we need to complete the level. But we're not done just yet. I want to go and find one more. And we know how to get to the uh, place with the teleporters. We go over here, over to here, into here. There's lots of bullets around if we were using the chain gun instead of our shotgun. We'll run over here, and then back through to here. Remember that invulnerability sphere that I didn't get? I think I'll get it now. There we go. We're absolutely fine and invulnerable as we go this way. Why do we want to be invulnerable? Because there are enemies here. Enemies that will teleport behind us. And an enemy over here as well. Not just that though, there are three imps down here too that aren't alerted to the sound of this chainsaw. What's down here? Just a little bit of ammunition we don't need. But over here is our prize. The yellow skull key. And now we've pretty much done everything. So let's just get out of here. We can go this way, and then this way. And I think if we go in this direction, we will find the place we need to go to, to get to the exit. There are loads of enemies somewhere, I'm not bothered about them. We're pretty much done. Over here we go. We could have not got the uh, yellow skull key, and I bounced off the exit uh, door there. Let's open this one as well, let's be thorough. Just need to go over here. There we go. Totally meaningless thoroughness. The exit is here. The Citadel is finished. 93% kills. 94% items. 
66% secrets. I believe that invulnerability sphere was one or two percent of those items. Our part time is probably going to be closer to 20 minutes than 3.30. 20 minutes and 27 seconds. We are now on Gotcha. Gotcha is quite a difficult level, and normally that foe perishes immediately. Now there's somewhere behind us here that we'd really like to get to, and we'll go there in a moment. By dropping, and this reveals this walkway. There are lots of secret areas here that you can get access to by just making a leap of faith and running. Up there, as you can see, is a chain gun zombie. We want to get rid of that chain gun zombie. There's a super shotgun here as well. And you may be wondering, how do I get up to that chain gun? The answer is you use this. Run, and there you are. There are a few more secrets that we can gain access to. There's somewhere over there that we can go to. There's somewhere down here that we can go to, too. We just need to uh, run through some goo for a bit. And we'll find you. And you! We definitely want to be careful when dealing with you. Fortunately, the shotgun zombie took one of those hits, which is fine. Over here, some ammunition, some health, and this area that we want to get into as quickly as possible. And we don't want to keep getting hit by you. But we're going to keep getting hit by you, aren't we? There we go. Much better. We want to go down to here, and over to here. We're going to get all the health back that we lost, don't worry. There are some imps we need to take care of, but don't worry about them either. Don't worry about getting hit either. Let's get ready the chain gun, shall we? CHAIN GUN! Ha <laughs> ha! Our chain gun's better than yours. And up here brings us to here, with more chain gun ammunition. Because you'd have inevitably got a chain gun by now. Now I think if we go back a bit... Yep, that'll open up there. And we're nearly done. Another chain gun, a few more lost souls. And there is a berserk pack. Brilliant. I think we're as ready as we'll ever be for over here. There is another area we can go to. I don't feel like doing so. Let's instead take care of all of you. And marvel at the difficulty of this area. For we're going to see an age-old conflict happen now. Who would win in a fight between a cyber demon and a spider mastermind? We're going to find out. We just need to get the... There we go. There's the infighting. The spider mastermind was about to hit us, but now we're fine. Let's grab a few things while that's going on, shall we? Let's get a, uh, a supercharge. Brilliant. And then we'll just go back up to here. Now, normally the Cyber Demon is the winner because the Spider Mastermind's fire is too spread. The Cyber Demon can fire with definite precision. And to be honest, I'd rather that the uh, Cyber Demon won. The Cyber Demon is easier to take care of afterwards. We're just going to get the. Uh, oh, there we go. We're just going to get the plasma gun ready here. And we're going to use this as cover. And then go over here. And just let you fire over there while we fire a little bit over there. We don't mind taking a few hits if it means that ultimately we're going to win. We did get that uh, supercharge. Now sometimes it can be a very close fight. It wasn't a close fight here. It wasn't a close fight here at all. Sometimes it can be just the case of a few rockets or a little bit of plasma. But the Cyber Demon is now gone. Can you hear that though? Can you hear the sound of an arch vial nearby? That is because there is an arch vial nearby. We want to take care of this arch vial as quickly as possible. We're over there, and I want to move forward and avoid the uh, attack there. Moving forward allows me to do so. As long as nobody else dies, I can. Oh, and that attack was directed over to me afterwards. A shame, but what can we do? The arch vial is gone, however. That supercharge is all but gone as well, but we do have the better armor. We also have quite a few rockets over here. Might as well use some of them to deal with this Baron of Hell. Hello! It's a good thing you didn't die so that you could be resurrected by the Archvile. Don't want to deal with you again, do I? Any more rockets? A few more rockets? Let's go, shall we? We're nearly done with this level, actually. Over here are even more rockets. And a few sneaky shotgun zombies. We 
going to be using these rockets, because there are going to be enemies that we need to watch out for. Did you hear that? There's a cacodemon on the way. Where's that cacodemon? There's that cacodemon! Hello! Would you like a rocket or two? One of them flew off into the distance, but that's okay, we have lots of rockets here. There are going to be more rockets, though. And more cacodemons! I think there's even a pain elemental somewhere in the distance, and we don't want to deal with that. Hello! Just the way they appear, going, Hello! How are you? You're about to get rockets, and now you're gone. Who else is here? Anyone? Oh, there's you! Don't want to use a rocket on you. A rocket on you would be a bad idea. Anyone else? There is someone else! There's you! I want you to get into visible range, and then I'm going to fire rockets at you, and then I'm not going to stop firing rockets at you. Or are you not going to appear? You're not going to appear, are you? Sneaky, sneaky pain elemental. Maybe BFG 9000 rounds would be okay. Probably not worth using, though. You know what? It's actually worth using. Where are you? You're over here. Now you're gone. Yep, that was actually worth it. Let's just fire a few rockets off here. Overkill? Maybe. But I do have a lot of rockets. You're going to sneak up behind me, aren't you? Probably. Or are you all gone? Ah, you're over there, are you? Now that lowers down. Feeling over there quite visibly. We could go over there. I'm actually quite tempted to do so. Let's actually do that, shall we? Let's go over here, into here, and reveal this. A radiation shielding suit. Does that just lower that? I believe it does. That's fine, though. I could do with getting a little bit more health. We can then run over to here. There's a one singular lost soul all the way over there. Hello! Would you like to charge at me? You would. You just can't get close enough. Come on, you're nearly there. Almost within charge range. Oh, what a shame. Let's move on, shall we? This brings us over to here. Is there going to be something here that we're going to have to fight? The answer is yes. There's a cacodemon here. There's also a teleporter behind us, and there's you! You know what? No! That didn't deal with the pain elemental. No, it didn't! That's alright, though. We'll deal with the pain elemental. Like this. Pain elemental is gone now. Let's... can't actually use those rockets. We actually have a full selection of rockets. I didn't actually look at how many rockets I had. Let's ready the plasma gun, shall we? As we run over here, into the dark, and over to here, where we find lots and lots of chain gun zombies. I knew there was a trap somewhere here. It was just a question of finding it. In here, though, we have more things to deal with. Loads and loads of enemies, but they're all gone now. All right. Over here brings us to here and reveals here. Is this where we need to go? It may be. It may be. You'll note that this was the area over to the left that we probably couldn't have got to. Let's go into here, which I think is the way out. This will look a bit familiar to people who have played the uh, first Doom. Looks like one of the ways to the exits in one of those levels. You know I don't trust this. I'm probably right not to trust it. But what is the extent of that lack of trust? There's a single imp here. Just one. There's ammunition over here, though. Am I right not to trust this? Am I right to? Probably. Definitely. Definitely right not to trust it. Chain gun! Got to deal with all of these enemies as quickly as possible. There are loads of them. We're in some trouble. We'll use the cacodemons to block each other. This is not working. This is not working. This, however, will work. Die! Much better. Much better. There's only a few of these left. There's a way we can go this way. There's also some bullets. And I believe this is the way to open that up. 
but I think this is also the way to go and get that plasma ammunition, if we're quick. Keyword, if we're quick. Do not want to get killed. There we go. And if we run here, there we go, plasma ammunition gained. But where do we need to go from here? That's a pretty good question. Maybe back the way we came? There's a teleporter here now. I don't think that was there before. And that brings us over to here. Did you hear that cacodemon? There's a cacodemon there. Can we get some infighting going on? We can get an imp trying to kill us. I'd much rather have some infighting going on. Oh look! Another pain elemental! They really don't like me, do they? They really don't. But that's okay. Chain gun! Ha <laughs> ha! We'll deal with all of these foes here with the chain gun! There's an imp trying to kill me, isn't there? Probably is the answer. Yep, there's that imp. And that imp is now gone. The cacodemon is also gone. There's another cacodemon over here, though, and this lost soul that is proving to be very annoying. But there's infighting going on between them. And, of course, the lost soul very quickly gave up on that infighting. I'm at 26% health. That is not great. I hear that enemy over there. I also hear another enemy. Hello, another cacodemon. This level certainly uh, catches you off guard at the very end. So where's the Revenant? I can hear the Revenant, I just can't see the Revenant. More Stimpaks? I could do with them, I could do with all the health I can get. Remember when I had over 100% health? Me neither! Okay, there's the Revenant. Also, there's a Pain Elemental over here. Remember when I said that this level was a tricky one? Here's all the evidence that tells you this level is tricky. Very tricky. But we're nearly through. Nearly through. Just need to go over here. Have that open up again. There's a teleporter over there. Don't really want to use it. Do, however, want to deal with you and not get hit by you. Not getting hit by you is a good idea. Can I hit you with this rocket? Maybe if I aim it here. I didn't hit you, did it? No, it didn't. It didn't. That's probably going to hit me, though, if I'm not very careful, which I'm not being right now. I don't it up. There is health over there that I can go and grab. There are two, are there? And that could hit me. Gotta watch out, I've not got a lot of health. Really not got much health. A rocket launcher will do the trick. Oh, that's a homing one, that's a homing one! Get away from the homing one! The rocket launcher would have done the trick, but that indeed is a homing uh, rocket. One of them's gone, though. And the other one's gone. And you're gone. Right. Now let's look to getting a little bit of stuff back. We can get this and that here. That's not too terrible. And then we can go over here, get that, and then get that as well. Now, I'm gonna just leave that and actually look at this. Where's this gonna take me to? Over to here. All the way back to here. That's actually a good thing to see because there was a lot of health back here that I didn't grab. Okay, by a lot of health I mean one single medkit. But you know what? That's fine! I needed that medkit. So let's just quickly work our way back through all these uh, areas. Areas that don't have any enemies anymore. I wish I could get you, but I don't know how to get you. That brings us over to here. We then run over to here. There's armor that we can get. That armor's worth going back to get. And then there's over here, which brings us over to here. We got hurt a tiny bit. There wasn't any more health over here. No. Always worth double checking. We're trapped again. This brings us back over to here. And now we can finally get out. After, of course, grabbing the shotgun shells. Managed to do it this time. As we head into here. And to the end of this level. To the next level. Gotcha is finished. Kills. 91%. Items. 73%. 
no secrets whatsoever. Our time, 2.30. You'd really have to run through this one. And our time of completion, 14 minutes, 21 seconds. You are at the corrupt heart of the city, surrounded by the corpses of your enemies. You see no way to destroy the creature's entryway on this side, so you clench your teeth and plunge through it. There must be a way to close it on the other side. What do you care if you've got to go through hell to get to it? You've been through hell before! And when we come back, folks, we are here. Level 21, Nirvana. And there's lots of health around us. It's like the game is saying, you're going to need all this health on this level. And we probably will. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.